Hello, everybody, and welcome to an episode of the Dark Rooms Podcast. I'm Psychic here with Ozone and Inky today, and my throat is killing me, so I'll let Ozone take on from here. Hi, everyone. Um, <laughs> we're back for another episode. Uh, I, I don't know, you just kind of sprung it on me without me knowing. I'm sorry. Um, well, um, recently, the, the FNAF Game Theory came out. The first of the three timeline videos. It's going to be three. I mean, I should not be surprised. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about the first one today. Obviously, we are mindful that today there's a new one coming out as well when this uploads. So uh, we were a bit behind, obviously, but mm-hmm. yeah. I'm especially behind because I haven't seen it, but that's going to be the fun part. They're going to describe it to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it should be very interesting. <clears throat> yeah. We, should we just get started, or? So what what does Matt Pat have to say about the FNAF timeline? This is like a well, complete reset, right, for him? He's like he, taking a step back and doing everything? He says this is the big, his biggest project that he's ever worked on okay. in like his game theory experience. And um, he also, in, it's really cool, I really like how these videos are like done. But okay. like in the bottom left hand corner of the video, he like he uses like references so he's like oh if you want to find out uh where i got the the quote that matt gave birth to springtrap you can find it in bunny cool so he's gotcha. like he's got these cool um he's citing his sources citing he's citations that's citations it. yeah i think that's really cool and it helps cool. they put a lot of work into it i should see this <laughs> yeah i you, should go you, well. you, you I, should. I remember the thing is i i got the notification yesterday and I, for some reason, an inexplicable sense of dread washed over me. <laughs> and I was like, I need to not think about that, or I will be sad. I don't know why, but there's just such negative energy. <laughs> I instantly packed up all of my stuff and recorded a reaction video. <laughs> right. Because I was like, this is going to be big. Um, and was it? I... I... Hmm... <laughs> Mixed thoughts, I think. I, I've heard that it's like the beginning of the timeline, so it's a lot of speculation, and there's not too many like big, controversial yeah. things yet. So yeah. he he's decided to split up the timeline into three kind of periods. So there's like the foundation of Freddy's, and then there's the Afton era, and then there's the post Afton era, or something like that. But you know what? That I mean. Makes sense. Makes sense, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so the first video was about the foundation of Freddy's. He kind of went through the story and then broke it down into into bits. I really like how they how it was done. Honestly, it's a I, really good video. This is sounding a lot more appealing as time goes on. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I have to check like it his, out. I feel like his other timeline videos had been like a bit messy, kind of like. Yeah, that's that's kind of what there. I was anticipating. So. Yeah. Well, this one's it's good to hear that. Him. Good to hear that he took his time, I guess, and made it really good. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's get to the elephant in the room. <laughs> so, right. Matt Pat does like this whole introduction, and he's like, "Here's here's the FNAF timeline, Foundation of Freddy's, blah 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 blah," and then he's like, "Okay, so the FNAF story, where does it start? Well, it's not in the 1980s." It's not in the 1970s. It's in the 1930s. <laughs> I saw your tweet about this, and I was... It raised an eyebrow. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So, you must know that it's got to do with the um, Freddy's dancing show. Yes. Or Fred Bear's mm-hmm. dancing show, sorry. Uh, oh, singing show. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrible at remembering things. Dancing show maybe would have been actually possible with this idea, but it, this, the fact that it's a singing show... Like yeah. <laughs> so, what do we think about the poster actually being from the 1930s rather than just like referencing 1930s culture? I think it's just a style. Um, I mean, to be fair, we can't really know for sure. It can be easy to just like laugh it off, but it is deliberately in that style, and we don't exactly know why. But to think that. Like, as far as I remember from your tweet, that it was a 1930s, like, 
traveling show with an actual live bear. I I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. The the thing he said is that like the bear would perform in front of people and the thing that I pointed out on Twitter is that on the poster it says that the bear would sing and I'm like that's a bit of a stretch. Like I mean like it, there are, there are like, Yeah, there are like like dog singing things where they yeah. howl but like a bear i feel like that'd be a lot harder to do it is a stretch i wouldn't say it's impossible it's yeah. a stretch <laughs> um so yeah what did you think about that psychic uh i thought it was interesting um i think it's possible um i like um, the idea of it being like super early in the timeline uh I mean, I could I can see it. I do have a follow up question. Or you, do, yeah, because we haven't actually given does, full context yet. But yeah, does Matt Pat talk about who is running this? Yes. Okay, because that's he that's says, both. Yeah, he says obviously it cannot be William or Henry because They'd even be if like, they were eighteen, even if they were eighteen at the time, they would be like seventy when it's nineteen eighties time, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Either. But um, so it can't be the, either of them two. But he said that William saw this show and he was inspired by it. Mm, so, so it's he a was, lot like, of be watching like recordings of it or something. Or... He'd be at the show. Uh, at the show. Oh, so is it just that it got started in the thirties? Like I, uh, Matt Pat saying that like. William saw this in the 30s, and then that inspired him later in life to make the like as a as a tiny child. Yes, as a yeah. little as a little tiny man. I see. Little Billy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um. Oh, one thing I didn't point out is that on the poster it says it's like 50 cents to mm -hmm. get into the show. And mm, that that's was like a piece of evidence for it being. That is a, that is actually a pretty good piece of evidence. Yeah. Um. So he kind of builds this narrative of William saw this show when he was younger and then when he grew up he Sorry. was so inspired by Fred Bear uh, that he built his he made his own suits essentially uh, and they were not the springlock suits they were suit suits like glitch trap because you can see the stitchings on glitch mm -hmm. trap um that, that makes sense uh yeah. And then I'm assuming Henry, being the technical genius, would have brought in the animatronic side of things. Yeah, we will, we'll get there. We'll get there. But yeah, kind of. Okay. Um, and with with like the glitch trap suits, um, like he he made Spring Bonnie himself. Like it was his own idea. It was his own concept. So that's why he's like warmer to Spring Bonnie. If you know, makes what I mean. sense. Yeah. Yeah. This is OC. Yeah. So, and and I think he pointed out it had something to do with Stage O One. I I don't know if that was intentional or not, or if it was just on the screen. I don't know, but yeah. Mm. So, do we think there's like this sort of kind of history before even animatronics were a thing, or like um, did they just go straight into animatronics? Well, I think. It's it's definitely, you know, as people are saying, a lot of speculation, but it's not completely unbased speculation. Like, Glitchtrap yeah. does look like just a suit. So, I'd say that part, at least, is very probable. Yeah. I so think far, all these, all these things are very, like, circumstantial, but when, like, viewed under this lens, they work. I, I agree. I think people are caught very off guard by the fact that he said it's in the 1930s. Um, it just seemed like a bit far. Like, nobody had ever... S I remember people talking about, like, oh, Fred Bears was built in the 1950s or Fred Bears was in the 1960s, but no one's ever gone back that far. Yeah. <laughs> so it, was a bit, it was a bit weird to hear that. Um, okay. I might need Psychic's help for the next part because I cannot remember for the life of me what's next. But essentially, Henry, I'm just going to go and say this. Henry has Chica's party world. And Interesting. In that location, there is Chica, of course. Uh, and then there's the mediocre melodies. And is that, that kind of ties... 
Hasn't that been disproven, though? That the mediocre melodies are that old? How would it have been disproven? I think I've heard, I don't know if it was in the character encyclopedia or, or like somewhere else, but it's like that it specifically mentions that the mediocre oh, right. melodies are, are knockoffs, meaning they would have to exactly. come after. Yes, so that is one big contention point with this theory, I would say. Um, because you are right. They, it's like they made them because of copyright reasons. But what, what Matt Pat says is um, that Henry built Ned Bear, uh, and then that's what kind of like made William annoyed at Henry because it was like a ripoff of Fred Bear. And that's where his like initial rage for Henry came in. But because more people went to Chica's party world than Fred Bear's, um, Henry came and bailed him out and then kind of like they started business together interesting yeah. so it sort of implies that william always kind of had something out for henry yeah yeah it's like a very it there's a very far back origin point <laughs> um, from a story perspective even though the mediocre melody thing doesn't work i'd say having henry be some kind of rival that he warms up to sort of and like works with could work yeah i i like it because it's still kind of it it allows for henry to then like william but william not like henry if you know what i mean right yeah which is kind of like a big theme in the beginning of the story um, just sort of like this facade of like being like best buddies and business partners yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. So what do we think about Chica's party world being a thing that far back? Um Yeah. I don't know. Because it seems like Chica's party world is specifically like a fun time Chica thing. Yeah. I so I, and like does he have evidence linking Henry to Chica's party world? Because Chica's party world right now is just kind of like an abstract thought that was out there. <laughs> it hasn't really have had any connections. And if it had any connections, it would be with Afton Robotics, right? That is a good point. I think the main piece of evidence comes from the puppet carver. Uh, and I know mm. you probably... You, you won't like this at all, but like that's a story... Well, actually, no, it, it isn't really about Henry, is it? I don't know. It's really not. <laughs> no, because it, it was a bad guy who became a good guy. But Yeah. But he, he does bring up the fact again that there was a bird next to a pig with a banjo and a bear with a southern accent and stuff like that. That is definitely a stretch, but, you know, I feel like stretches are going to be integral to this interpretation. Mm -hmm. Because let's be real, they're integral to any interpretation. Honestly, though, I, I get where he's coming from because... Like, where else would Chica have come from? Because yeah. there was a Fred Bear slash Freddy, and then there was a Bonnie. Well, I mean, like, here's the thing. I don't think it's necessarily a super important idea to be like, where did this character come from? Because it's like, they could have been made for Freddy's. Like, not every character has to be a pre-Freddy's creation, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Because, like, obviously, if they're making an establishment with characters, they're going to make characters. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if that's a necessary piece of the puzzle here. It's not impossible. It's maybe a little improbable compared to some other claims he makes, but definitely not impossible, I don't think. Yeah. I, I can agree with that. Um, did Psychic just... Oh, Psychic's gone to do their launch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um. So then he kind of oh he says that Red Bears was open in nineteen seventy nine, I think, and that's that, from the Silver Eyes. I was gonna say that sounded familiar. Yeah, I actually I think, don't remember that. I I recall it. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's when it's mentioned in the Silver Eyes. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, like, obviously the novels are a different continuity, but I think that date could be used, perhaps. 
Potentially. I said in my um, reaction, though, that in pressure, they said that the Springlock suits were not used long after they started being used. So, Oh, like only so, used for a short time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't know if three years is, like, too long. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It's it's hard though because at the same time in 1983 there's a Fred Bear and Friends show with Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy, and right. It's yeah, but FNAF four mini games are very hard to place in the timeline. Absolutely. Even though it's like definitely 1983, there's still a lot going on. Hmm. So uh, what's what's next? What's after that? Hello. Mm. Welcome back. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm sorry, my, my laundry was done and I had to go move it. It's in the basement of the building. <laughs> College, woo! Um, while I was down there, I actually looked on Twitter and people are not happy about this video. <laughs> well, it's oh, FNAF yeah. fans. True. But it was just like, somebody like, oh, look at all this misinformation it- and this and this speculation on a... <laughs> Even though he was like... On a FNAF video, oh. I know. Oh, the horror. (laughs) Me when I Someone trying to figure out a timeline from a vague, vague, very scattered evidence storyline? Oh. Me when I try to give a main character a motive for why they do what they do? Or is it me when I purposely spread misinformation on the internet? (laughs) Yeah, some of these are like stretches, but I don't think it's like worth getting mad over considering how much we just don't know about the beginning of the timeline yeah it's, it's i think like if he starts thing... making if he starts making wacky claims going on like uh it, like if he tries to say fnaf one is uh oh he seems to have a uh, yeah if he see, if he says fnaf one is 2003 again then like sure go after him i guess <laughs> but like i don't just from what i've heard so far it doesn't sound like something super outrageous it, yet it isn't. the big thing the big thing here is like He's making a narrative, which is something that FNAF with a timeline kind of needs. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of very brave for doing that, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I think creative um, liberties are a good thing for this kind of video. Yeah. But hopefully, like, going into part two and three, I hopefully there's not going to be as much speculation. There, because There isn't. That's I mean, more kind it's, of... it's only speculation because we don't see any of it in games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At the end of the video, he was like, uh, next time we're actually going to talk about the games. <laughs> nice, nice. So, Psychic, you might need to help me because I have misremembered, like, the last half of the video. <laughs> oh, you have? Um, so, we we talked about how, um, not Matt Pat, what's his name? William. Um, William, <laughs> William made the glitch trap. Matt Pat is and... William after. <laughs> um, Matt Pat made the glitch. No, William. Oh, <laughs> William made the glitch trap suit and uh, like a Fred bear, and he called it his own. And then he made um, his own place. And then Henry had Chica's party world, right? Yes. So uh, he said, um, "His." So he says that William had. Um, the Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie, basically Golden Bonnie. Um, and he was like Bonnie was specifically his. Like that's why he cares about it so much. Yeah, right. Um, but Henry, who was more robotic, was able to get more money at Chica's Party World, which had mediocre melodies and Chica, and Ned Bear, which really was like angering to William. Yeah. Um, because he's like, oh, it's a ripoff. Like a- yeah, it's a good motivation early on, mm-hmm. which is something we all need to like look for in theorizing, I think. Then he was like, oh, um, William went bankrupt, and who built him out? Well, take a guess. It was his enemy, Henry. And he was like, oh, I'm angry. Of course. Um, Henry. And, and Henry. They, and they My merged, favorite FNAF character. And they merged to Freddy's and... Um, they were like, okay, now we can get rid of some of the, the mediocre ones. Um, huh, and they added, like the mediocre melody. Oh my gosh. And they added, like, Blue Bonnie and Foxy. And then they were, and then they made, like, a TV show because it got so popular. But William was a little Angie, Angie Spaghetti 
and Grease Spaghetti Man because Angry cause, Spaghetti because his specific one, the Golden Bunny, wasn't in the show, so it, it just it just rubbed him the wrong. Oh way. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So long. far, it's just the, the FNAF timeline is just William getting salty for no reason over various things. <laughs> then, and uh, that's the thing, it builds up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Especially for, like, a narcissist like William. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then he they opened up in 1983 with the Withers, but um, something about Baby and stuff, um, and he's angry still. And what, what what's he got? What's he doing with with baby? He mentions them in the video. I don't remember why though. I have the video just like playing on the side, so I can like remember it. Let's we'll, we'll, oh, we'll see what he let's we'll see what he has to say about that then. Oh, yeah. he wanted to experiment with different types of robots, like with like the with like the wires and not like the the endos. Ah, uh, right, right. Okay, cool. Um, oh my god! The other day, sorry, this is kind of a little bit off topic. I mean, we, we've but, uh, got we've got a lot of time to fill and not a ton to yeah. cover. I think so. Doesn't but, matter. Matt Pat in the in a video about the character encyclopedia, he like searched through the book and picked out a few things. He like completely missed a lot of the big lore drops, like the nightmares and stuff like that. <laughs> but he he went to the Biddy Babs page, of course. And as on one does. Biddy, <laughs> and on the Biddy Bab page, it says that they have um, young girl English voices or whatever. Young English girl voices. Okay. And, uh, he was, and he was like, oh my god, I knew it! I knew it! Elizabeth is a Charlie bot. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I don't remember that. Oh, no, he, oh, oh? he says something like that. Um, was he was he joking? I don't think so. He 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 said like Bebabs and Baby. That that's all there is though. <laughs> Question yeah. have we talked about why Henry built the mediocres? Has has Inky seen that theory? Um, what what about it? Have you seen the theory of like why Henry made the mediocres? Uh, why don't, why don't you go over it, and if it sounds familiar, I'll say. Um, basically, he... Sorry, I had to close the window. It was It's hot in here, but it's loud outside. It's a lose-lose. Um, basically, he was saying that, like, the... How they have, like... First of all, they're, like, basic. Like, with battery mm -hmm. packs. But they also have, like, the, the mouth joints, which only yeah. his robots had. Okay. I suppose that makes sense. And and I think that's why, to answer your question from before, that's why we think that Henry was in charge of Chica's party world. Because with the Chica also has, like, the poles or whatever. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. The, the mouth. Hmm. I still don't know if that's, like, super compelling, but at least there's something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I guess. It's... Hmm. I still think it needs to work around the whole, like, lore drop that the mediocre melodies are specifically, like, rip-offs made a lot later, so... What? Isn't that a thing that was revealed in, like, I don't know if it was the character encyclopedia or something? But it says that the mediocre melodies are, like, kind of recent things. I don't think it said it was recent. It, just that, like, Ned Bear is the copy, copyright avoiding on Fred Bear. Mm. I think. I see. So that could technically work under the, under this theory then. Yes, I would okay. say so. <laughs> oh, I just had a thought. Could the happiest day mini game be Chica's Party World? Um, because they have the mediocre melody masks. Right. Like, what but... if they turned Chica's Party World into Fred Bears when they merge? Oh, oh, that's Maybe. good. I like that. That, that could work. Really? Wait, it just... because it's like a memory. Is oh, 
Did I just again that smart? It, it relies it relies on some assumptions that MatPat makes and then some assumptions from there. So it's a few layers of assumptions, but if so, that yeah, that, I guess that makes sense. Did I actually say something smart for once? Let's go, boys. Let's go. No, I'm taking the credit for that. Oh. <laughs> the theories. That's just a theory. <laughs> a theory theory. What's the new theory channel gonna be? What? The new theory channel, the fourth one. I heard Oh that's right. He's making a fourth one, isn't he? Oh can I can I pres underscore on Twitter said it's gonna be Steph Theory. Yeah, I've heard it's... that. I think that's uh, good. Well, will she make theories on? Or is it and theories I... about her? <laughs> And I replied with, <laughs> yeah. Steph theory, does Steph measure up? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's five letters and it begins with S. Oh, interesting. I've also heard sports. Sports theory? I think that's the main one. Oh. Swims. Swimming. Which, I don't, I don't like sports, so... Yeah, I don't. I, I think that would have a very niche audience when it comes to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, Bok theory. Oh boy. All right. So, uh, what do we got from here? Uh, where do we think this is gonna go? Well, is there anything more from the video? Uh, is um. There... It's you know it's tough because it is really a lot of speculation. I bet Underscore would have some smart things to say about it, but he's busy. He, he again talks about how it kind of parallels Chuck E. Cheese's. Um, oh, right, interesting. Right. Let, oh, I remember. Let's talk about that then. Let's talk about that then. I remember. Well, uh, it was. Yeah. The internet, it was just the thing of like two companies merging. Right. The internet mm. hates it when he like parallels things to real life. Like, I, I saw like. When I went to do my laundry, I saw someone post, oh, first thing, he started talking about the real Great Depression. What a jerk. <laughs> Talked oh, about that yeah. tragedy. Yeah, he introduced with, like, let's go back to 1930, the Great Depression in Utah. <laughs> like, yeah. why, why is that something to get mad over? I Because cause Twitter. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, because Twitter yeah. has no... It was a it was a real period of economic decline. It's not like some some no, bomb dropped Inky, in the middle of Utah Inky, or something. Got, well, I mean, technically they did get nuclear tested, but well, they... that was year like way later. <laughs> History. But, but Inky, people suffered, so we can't we can't I mean, talk about it. It, it was... I think we're going through another Great Depression. No, no, we not just, we, not in the no, slightest. We, we just have depression. <laughs> no, just not us. I, I meant, I meant the world. Same thing. But yeah, that that was just a. All yeah, I that baffles me a little bit. Like yeah, people suffered, but it's like that's no different from just poverty today. I don't think he was making fun of poverty. It was just. No. A time period oh, that man. happened. I remember when people <laughs> lost their minds about his first ever theory. Like, that one was a little messed up. But, like, talking about something like the Great Depression is different than... What was his first ever theory again? The real Chuck E. Oh, Cheese. I, I really like oh, that. Oh, yeah, theory. that. It was... That's interesting. It was actually scary, though. And, like, people were like, oh, you can't... Oh, I was it. terrified. Yeah. <laughs> but people were like, oh, it's a real life... Like, I get, like... You don't want to seem like you're making fun of like real life tragedies, but like I, I but like I it was like that the video first before playing FNAF. It was like the first one, and it was like you know we didn't know like the inspiration behind it. Right. Yeah, it's I, not I don't think a funny it's, bear game. I don't think it's aged horribly. Yeah, it's definitely definitely a more controversial take. To, mm -hmm. to make a video like that, but I don't think it's aged too poorly. I think it's... I don't know. A lot of it is Twitter being Twitter. True. And if you're watching and you use Twitter, be smart about it. Be cool. Like, cool people. Be the cool people on Twitter. <laughs> be the cool person you want to see on Twitter. Think rationally, think clearly, and don't jump to rage. 
and the world will be a better place, specifically Twitter. It's kind of a lost cause, but at least we can yeah. try. Have you seen that post you of imagine. like, someone's like, oh, peanut butter jelly sandwich is my childhood, and someone's like, oh, that's very insensitive to people with gluten intolerance, <laughs> or stuff like that. <laughs> I oh love my gosh. how stupid Twitter is. It's amazing and horrible, but both. We've really gone off track. Uh, I guess, but... Let's it's... make fun of the character encyclopedia. Oh, yes, please. What, what, what do we make fun of that about? What should, should, I sc- should I share my screen and let's go through the character encyclopedia? We no, 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 I mean, you, you, just, you just read it off. Yeah, like, what's there to make fun of, actually? What do you mean, what's there to make fun of? There's always stuff to make fun of. Well... Well, I'm, then, I'm, start I'm, talking. I, start yeah, I'm talking. giving you, like, <laughs> the, the, the platform to share your thoughts. Okay, I'm just stalling because I need to open... <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It's another <laughs> one of these scuffed episodes. Make sure to subscribe. Sure? Just a bit, just I, a I, bit. I can share, I can share my screen. Wait. I need but, to close. But what would be the point of that? It's an audio podcast. Oh, because you guys can see things easier. Well, well, yeah, but it would be better for you to explain them so that we're on the same level as... Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll explain them. I just want to make it easier for you guys, too. Okay. I appreciate <laughs> This is a great Rosa. podcast. Great podcast. Um... So, we're, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a slower day, a little bit of a rougher day. Thank you for bearing with us if you are still watching. <laughs> Can you see my boy Henry? <sighs> yeah. um, no, oh, yeah. but I don't need to. I know what he okay. looks like. All right. Um, what what character do we want to talk about? Let's talk about Biddy Bab. <laughs> Biddy Bab. Want to talk about Biddy Bab? Okay, okay, let's go to the Biddy Bab page then. I mean, come on. Well, yeah. Charlie Bot. <laughs> what if we just like accidentally stumbled upon like some like major piece of lore on the podcast? That's the intention. That would be that would be fun. That'd be neat. Um so unlikely, but whatevs. Who cares about unlikeliness? You guys play any good games recently? <laughs> um Yeah. The game of life. Oh boo, I suck at that game. <laughs> okay. My KD is way bad. Biddy Bab, circus babies, babies. The, these animatronics oh? take the form of babies and are sidekicks of Circus Baby. Two of, of them accompany Circus Baby on stage in the circus gallery and sister location. They speak in little girl voices with sinister English accents. Sinister <laughs> English accents. Take accents. a shot every single time this page says the word baby. <laughs> That'd be a fun challenge. The thing is, I, I actually never realized that Biddy Bab's the one. Are the ones that are talking to you between nights. What? What? What are you talking about? Are those just you, flashbacks you know, of? Are those just flashbacks you, from no. Elizabeth? No, it's Elizabeth talking. Well, it, okay, kind of. Well, yeah. So it wouldn't be the Biddy Babs because the Biddy Babs but aren't. It, no, Elizabeth. it's an effect of Biddy Bab. Is it? Yeah, because they speak in little girl voices with sinister English accents. I mean, yes, but that was also just Elizabeth's regular voice. Yeah, a sinister little girl with an English accent. Yeah, well, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's the Biddy Babs doing that though. Well, it's not Elizabeth, is it? It could be. You don't know. How could it know be? She's, she's freaking all... dead. It's a flashback. Yeah. It's either well, a flashback. There is nothing or... to say. It's a flashback. Well, except for the fact that it's ex- it's saying exactly what she said. The Biddy Babs wouldn't even be around to know what she said. If anything, it if it's not like a flashback, Mike, it's Circus Baby herself like playing back those recordings. Or Michael remembering it because he was just there because he lived in that house. Daddy. Okay, we're gonna move Daddy. on. <laughs> She's so pretty and shiny. Okay. We're we're gonna keep going. <laughs> Let's talk about Elizabeth. Who likes the Elizabeth artwork? I think it looks a little jank, but it's alright. It's it's silly. Ozone stream is mm-hmm. loading, so I can't see it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry. It's alright. It's the same for me, so but like the British whole point Wi-Fi. is British the whole Wi-Fi point moment. is for us to talk through it audibly, so it, it says Morning. bringing new meaning to the phrase to... spoiled child. Okay, for people listening to the podcast, I'm sorry. I was watching Impractical Jokers with my friend earlier, and it just started playing randomly on the browser. So if you heard <laughs> the intro, oh my I'm gosh. sorry about that. 
going to have to edit that out or something. <laughs> it was just like the warning. These people are stupid. Don't do anything like they they're they're being stupid. <laughs> <That's ironic. laughs> Wait, that's so out of context. These people are stupid. <laughs> just in the middle. Welcome of to the, the Dark Prince podcast. podcast. Warning: These people are stupid. Uh... The following program has seen a graphic stupidity among four people who are stupid and stupid. Oh my gosh! That's the okay. Dark Prince intro. <laughs> where <laughs> where are the four people? Where do we go from here? <laughs> See, but Daddy, was, just once let me go play with her. I was almost talking, so I don't know if I oh can edit gosh. that out. I'm afraid for our sanity. Mm-hmm. I've, I've already lost mine. Yeah, this is one of those episodes where we're just, like, messing around a bit. Which I is lost fine. it long ago. We should play a game. What, what kind of game? What are we thinking? ABC. ABC game. With FNAF characters? Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this God. is... Goes first. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'll go first. Um, <laughs> Adam, dude. Adam, dude. Baby. Chica. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, wow, guys, aren't man. you so entertained, everybody? Dreadbear. And Doe 01. Ready? Let's <laughs> You get the easy ones. You are cheating. Ready? I'm gonna get the easy ones. <laughs> um, G. Uh, I can think of one very easily. Gabriel. <laughs> okay, a little unorthodox, but H. Isn't there like some sort of hologram animatronic somewhere? Maybe like hologram Ballora from Dance with Me. Does that count? <laughs> no. I don't think she's ever called that. H. I can think of one. What? Oh, I'm not gonna tell you if oh, you're. Come doing... on. Um. Isn't there like a Hannah and Fazbear Frights somewhere? And like, isn't that there like... is a very, very easy one. Oh, we're one not including second. Fazbear Frights. We're not including Fazbear a very Frights. easy a... one. That's a very, very easy one. Like that, I'm surprised you have not jumped to. Oh, I've got one too. Okay, let me think about this. It happens to be a very important character. Henry? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of Happy Frog. <laughs> of course. Uh, where, that puts me, where, where does that put me then? I. I. Um, Why well, was my first instinct to say Iggy Koopa? From Mario. <laughs> I was thinking Ignited <laughs> um, Freddy from the fan game, but I doubt that counts. Nah. Um, let me think. Um, I, I FNAF characters. Um, hmm. This is, that's a good, that's a good question. Hmm. Igloo Freddy. <laughs> Igloo Freddy. Let's turn him into an igloo. Was it um, Ignited Chica FNAF AR? No, I think the ignited ones are all joy of creation. There was yeah. flaming barbecue chica then. I mean, oh technically gosh. on an arcade machine in Security Breach, there's an ignited Freddy. Is there? Honestly, go with it, otherwise we're not getting anywhere. No, 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 wait. I wanna, let's, let's brainstorm this together. Are there any okay. I FNAF characters? Uh, Illumix. That's not a FNAF <laughs> <laughs> The worst um, FNAF character. <laughs> I feel like uh, there's definitely one, at least, that we're just missing. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I- Istanbul. Istanbul? Uh, the city? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I- I'm sure people in the in the comments are already, like, racing to it. Yeah, they're like, this one. It's like, you forgot... Uh, it... it-, it- the bodge, Freddy. Uh, I'm just like, st- just like cycling through all the characters now. I'm thinking. Uh, there's gotta be like an ice balloon boy or something. That would be like Blizzard or Frost balloon boy, right? Frost yeah. balloon boy. No, wait, that sounds too good. It's not that one. <laughs> I don't think there is. No, that has to be. I'm thinking of like FNAF World bosses. Or, uh, uh, 
Is there could there be like a? Huh. This is this Would is. Would you tricky. count the FNAF Secure Breach Instructor Bot from the Phaser Blast? <laughs> Jesus. Instruction <laughs> Bot. I feel like they have to be like referred to it by a name with an I, I believe for this it to is count. The actual name though. Okay. Well then, let's do it. <laughs> All right. J Ozone. Good luck. Oh, um, Jacko Chica. All right. Is there a K? Is there yes. a K? Okay, this wow. is great content. This uh, is great content. Yeah, great content. Um, I don't know if there's a K. There might actually not oh. be a K. I'm sure there is. Somewhere. It has to be. There's so many characters. <laughs> um, K. K. What words begin with K? I, I actually don't know. That's the um, Why do I, I mean, there's Kelly. Ones? There's Kelly from the epilogues, but... Can we count that? Do we want to count epilogues? Yes, because we're not going to get yeah, any word. I don't know. There's also, like... Uh, what Kelsey, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Casey. Casey. Yeah, we we can just we we can count the books. I'd say. All right. So cool. K. J K L. Um, am I on L? Yeah, Icky, you got L. Um, he's real. I'm taking the L. Let's see. Uh, he's real. I feel like this is gonna be a lot easier. Icky, he's real. Oh, Lally. Yeah, Lally. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We got Lally. Um, M? Oh. Hmm. Well, Mount of which one do I go for? Which one do I go for? Uh, mm, which one do you go for, Ozone? That's one I would go for. Mini Reno. Okay. Night any of the night? Let's just go with Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, we just go for Nightmare. Uh, no, that's that cheating. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> There's a character named Nightmare. Um... <laughs> What what's what what's up next? Oh, oh, oh am I you having? Guys don't oh. know the alphabet. Yeah. No, I know the alphabet. It's just keeping track of everything. This, all, this one's also easy. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you said that's easy, so it's probably just one that I'm. Uh, oh, uh, Orville. Yep, alphabet. there it is. Um, P? um, Phantom Balloon Boy. Q. Okay. Is that? Is there a Q? Is the? I feel like there's going to be any that don't have it. It might be Q. Yeah. I mean, there's there's R W Q F S F. That doesn't count. But K that's F like not the first XC. one. That's not the. Is there yeah, like it's a, got Q in it? There's a like Quacks Quaxwell from Pokemon. Quaxwell. <laughs> yeah, Quaxwell, my favorite animatronic. Um. What about Prize Queen? Oh wait, that doesn't begin with Q. Is there a is there like a queen AR skin of anybody? Test quest. I feel um, like there was a queen character at some point. There, no, there isn't. There isn't. Trust me. Okay. Are we gonna Quebec. just uh, Quebec, the city in Canada? Can we do countries after this. <laughs> oh my no. gosh! No. No. <laughs> Okay, we um, can't do Q. Q R. Yeah, I think we might have to. R. This one's easy. This one's easy. Yeah. We should look up at the end if the ones that we couldn't get and see if there's actually any FNAF characters with it. Okay. Okay. Inky, you're R. Oh, I'm R. Um. Well, Shadow Bonnie's real name. I oh always... yeah. What's that? What's that? I always like when I read it. It's always in my mind as like Rakusafax. So, Recruit Roxy. That one was what I was thinking. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, sure. But who cares oh, yeah, about Roxy? Roxy, Roxy mid, Roxy mid. Or um, any of the rock stars. Oh, yeah, rock star. Uh, rock stars would have been fun. Alright. Um, S. So you're on S, Ozo? Um, C Bonnies. Good sure. call, good call. T. Can we count text? <laughs> <laughs> what? Tex, everyone's favorite Fazbear Fight book. Oh, no. 
Um, T. Um. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> tiger Rock. Tiger Classic Rock. Tiger okay, Rock fine. from the book Tiger fine, Rock. Oh, I suppose. oh, Toy, Toy Freddy. Oh yeah, any of the toys. <laughs> um, that puts me on you. you. Um, Isn't there why did I almost say underscore? <laughs> there are uh, like under aren't there underwater animatronics. Yeah, but are they called underwater Duncan. animatronics? No. Um. Ooh. Are there? Are there any? There has to be. I was gonna say like UV light, Freddy, but those are like black light, right? <laughs> UV Freddy. UV Freddy, ultraviolet Freddy. <laughs> Um, um, I I can't think of any. Interesting. So we ha so we haven't got an eye. We haven't got an. Um, uh, we didn't have. H. We we struggled to we struggled no. to get K right. K yeah. yeah I K and Q. Oh I K Q U yeah that's I that's K -Q -U. weird. Uh, I feel like at least one of those gotta have something. Yeah. What's next? V. Uh... Is there a Volcano Freddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, VR Toy Freddy. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, W. Uh... Or, or Vanessa, or Vanessa. <laughs> or Vanessa. <laughs> w. Um... Wet Freddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Withered. Withered Freddy. Yeah, with any of the Withereds. Come on. Right, you. uh, You're cheating. You you got Nightmare Freddy, um, freaking. Hey, I got uh, Freddy Fazbear. Freddy. Are you sure you want to call out Psychic? <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. Aww. Um, I've been called out. So, wait. <laughs> X. X. Are are there any X-ray animatronics? No. What do you mean it's easy? There's like one with X. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Do I? No, I don't. Do you? Oh, I was thinking of the. I think I, I think I'm thinking of the right animatronic, just the wrong name. Mr. What? Hippo X. Mr. Hippo X. I almost said like XQC, but that's not an animatronic. <laughs> that's <laughs> not an yes. But I do know no. I do. Dude, know, I know which one I was I... talking about. XQC. It's this. Frickin oh, Zorzor. Yeah. The, uh, X O R. That yeah. that's what I was thinking of. Okay. Okay. Uh, Yando. Yeah. Okay. And then Z. Do we have a Z. Yeah. Do we? We must have a Z. I I don't know. This has been riveting content. I know. Yeah. I'm mean, <laughs> so. Interested. Z G J Music Man. C Z J Music Man. Alright, do we want to look up the ones that we couldn't find now then? Sure. So okay. I K Q U and Z. Oh, there's gotta be a Z. Are those the ones that we I think yeah, so? Yeah, those are the missed? ones. So, let's, let's consult the archives, the internet. Did we have one we wanna... H? Yeah, didn't we? Henry. Oh, right. Henry, yeah. That's the one you struggled with for a long time. <laughs> I yeah. found high score Toy Chica. Oh my gosh. <laughs> high school Toy Chica. High school Toy Chica. High school Toy Chica, I suppose. Did we find L? Yeah, we did Lally. Lally. Yeah. Lefty. Um, uh, oh yeah, we're lefty. Lol bit. Liberty Chica. Math characters that start with I. Okay. Look at I'm looking I'm looking at the at the wiki. You know that's how. The wiki wiki what? Indie game dev. <laughs> 
<laughs> who we now know to be Steve Snodgrass, so I don't even know if that counts. All right, I'm looking at uh, K now. K has Casey and Kelsey, that's it. Um, Q. What, what does... Q has... I don't think Q has anything. Yeah, no, Q, Q has nothing. There are no Q animatronics. Uh, on the FNAF World website, uh, not the FNAF World website, but the fandom, uh, there's one called Quad Endo. Huh. We'll count it. Uh, U doesn't seem to have anything either. And... <laughs> I've got unused content. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> Unnamed and yeah. character. Z also does not. So I think we were pretty solid on all the ones we couldn't think of. Yeah. That's so, actually surprising. Hey, we we know our FNAF characters. Let's go guys, high fives all around. Alright, we just need to fill out like five to ten more minutes of content. No, I, I think we <laughs> could we could probably just call it. There. Let's do it again. Let's do it no! again. Oh we're not doing it again. No, let's do another one. Um, pizza flavors. We should just call it there. <laughs> the shortest episode. A little bit of a shorter fun. episode. That was fun, though. <laughs> we do colors. <laughs> let's, just, so let's just name all the store all the short stories in in numerical order. No, this is they're all they're probably already bored. Let's just put it out of our animatronic music. apocalypse. <laughs> oh no, Bobby, that's part one. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing this. I'm not participating in this. Give us a C story. I I'm not per one. not participating. I'll oh, count the ways. There you go. Uh D. Um Die. <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> what? Oh that's an I. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do we, we should F? just roll the credits? Just roll the credits. That could be fetus trap. No! <laughs> Remember how we started talking about game theory? <laughs> yeah, and then we ran out of game theory to talk about. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This has been one of uh, the one of the episodes of the One of, of the season. episodes of all time. Yeah. This truly has been the Man of Room twelve eighty. So what are we thinking is gonna be interesting about Matt Pat's next theory? Uh, I think it's gonna be interesting how everyone hates it. Do you think um, he's gonna say FNAF one is in two thousand three, or do you think his further research no, is gonna like I dissuade him from that? He said in in this video that he's gonna talk about the nightmares next video. Oh, and he'll, and he'll get to that. And I have a feeling he's gonna be completely wrong about them because he still thinks that uh, the crying child had those nightmares and he was alone in that. Well, so, we all know I mean, Come on. with the character encyclopedia, that can be called into question, even though it doesn't really make sense, so... I mean, it could be Andrew. <laughs> oh, and... and Drew? He seems, to think, he seems to think that because Michael isn't in the character encyclopedia, it means that he might not be in Afton. Huh? <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, so you're telling me that Father It's Me Michael <clears throat> means Michael is not an Afton? He, he said that, that that there could be some other things. What what else could that mean? Like, he, oh. Stepfather situation. St no! Stepdaddy? No! <laughs> no. <laughs> we need, okay, we need to end the episode. We're going to see what Matt Pat is up to next time. Daddy. We're we're gonna see what's up. Oh, then you can have Can you repeat what you time. said? No, do not. I wish William was my daddy. <laughs> no, you do not. Get out. Uh. Anyway, we'll be seeing you guys next time for some more game theory shenanigans. Hopefully, we'll have everybody. And for Nafe are shenanigans potentially. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna have some very yeah. fun things to talk about there that, but that's a teaser for those of you who made it through this episode <laughs> you, we, you we salute you, you for soldiers. your for your you absolute yeah, you soldiers legends and soldiers. troopers anyway i think that's where we're probably gonna end yeah no why not drag it out a bit longer i mean come on no no i i, I can think of a good reason why not to we should Let's just name animals no antelope okay i'm gonna go <laughs>
Well, 26 ways this... to say goodbye. This... Adios. This video ends oh when the key leaves the call. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching the episode. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Inky. Uh, Au revoir, bye, ciao. Um, oh no, he's actually going through. Did, did you want to leave? Yes, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> okay, now that he's gone, time for the second part of the podcast. Um, yeah. In the second part, we're going to be talking about FNAF AR more. No, we're not. Thank you so much for watching this video. We're gonna see. We're gonna. We're gonna go. We're gonna take our leave. Are you gonna say bye, Ozone? Everyone, bye. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> oh my gosh. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, would you like us to leave now? Yes. Peace.